World News Tonight with David Muir, reporting tonight from Boston. Good evening, and we had a great visit in Boston today, and we'll have much more on that coming up later. But we begin tonight with the breaking headline today from the White House. President Trump unveiling what the White House is calling the biggest tax cut in American history. The new policy unveiled, it's a one-pager. President Trump wants to slash taxes on corporations by more than half, from 35% to 15%. And he wants to cut taxes for many Americans, too. But many of the familiar tax breaks for individual Americans would go away while offering some tax relief to families with childcare expenses. But when pressed for specifics, how will this affect a typical family of four with a median income of 60,000 a year? Our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, with how they answer. It's a big ticket item released just before day 100. A plan, or really an outline of a plan, for what the president says will be the biggest tax cut ever. It's a great plan. We talked about it over and over again during the campaign. Um, you don't mind having lower taxes, do you, anybody? The outline rolled out today by the Treasury Secretary and the President's top economic advisor would cut the corporate tax rate from 35 percent to 15 percent. And that new lower rate would also apply to businesses that now pay through the owner's personal taxes. Companies like the Trump Organization. One, two, three. It would also cut tax rates for individuals and simplify the system, reducing the number of tax brackets from seven to just three. It would eliminate estate taxes and double the standard deduction. So for a married couple, the first $24,000 of income would be income tax free. There would still be deductions for home mortgage interest and charitable contributions, but all other personal deductions would be eliminated. The outline was just a single page, double-spaced, with few specifics. It's just one page. Obviously, tax reform would be much more complicated. When will we see the details? When will we see the actual plan? Well, we're, we're moving as quickly as we can. For now, the most basic questions are unanswered. Like, how would it affect the typical family? The family of four, median income, $60,000. What does it mean for them? It's going to mean a tax cut. How much? Going to mean a tax cut. We will let you know these specific details at the appropriate moment. What's totally unclear, how to pay for all of these tax cuts without ballooning the deficit. One bipartisan analysis estimates that Trump's plan could cost anywhere between 3 and $7 trillion in lost revenue over 10 years. Also a mystery, how would the plan affect the president and his family's business? unknowable because he hasn't released his tax returns. Will the president release his tax returns so that uh, the president Americans has no intention. The president has released plenty of information and I think has given more financial disclosure than anybody else. I, I think the American population has plenty of uh, Information. But doesn't the American don't 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 don't, don't the American excuse me don't don't, don't the American people have a right to know how it will affect other people how this tax reform will affect him personally? A few minutes later, Cecilia Vega tried again. So your response to those critics who say a lot of what you presented here today could save the president or benefit his own businesses. Again, let me just comment. What this is about is creating jobs and creating economic growth. And so let's get to John Carl at the White House tonight. And, John, a lot of fanfare surrounding today's announcement as mm -hmm. President Trump approaches this 100-day mark. But realistically, it was a one-pager. What kind of timeline are we looking at here? And does he have Republican support given concerns about the deficit? David, we are at the very beginning of this process, but White House officials say they are determined to get it done by the end of the year. And there is no question that Republicans are divided on this issue. John Carl at the White House tonight. John, thank you.